In this episode, it's really cool to just see everything like floating above my head. That's a perfect place for winter. I'm Crystal Lingaman, lifestyle blogger, travel enthusiast, and proud Toronto local. I love the city for its energy and its individuality. Toronto, Canada is the capital of the province of Ontario, situated along Lake Ontario's northwestern shore. With over 130 languages spoken, it's been called one of the most diverse cities in the entire world. I especially love the winter here because there's so much to do in the city at night. From its cutting edge fusion dining to great selection of bars, there's something for everyone. That's why I think Toronto is one of the greatest cities in the world for nightlife, and I'm here to show you what I mean. The Distillery District has to be one of the coolest places in all of Toronto. It really has so much to offer from boutique shops and galleries to sculptures and stage performances. Plus there's such an eclectic mix of bars and restaurants, there's really something to keep everybody happy. So is it fair to say that there's a little bit more comfort food on the menu during the winter time? Uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely more comfort food. The food on the menu is, is like uh, street food from Mexico, right. tapas style. We use a lot of roots as, okay. uh, for salads. We have an amazing salad called La Milpa. It's a fusion between Canadian yeah. and Mexico. Love the presentation on this, it looks beautiful. Thank you. I love that there's a fire pit here and that we can sit outside in the middle of the winter and still feel, you know, warm. It's and incredible what, what we have here, like the atmosphere in the restaurant at night is completely different. Well, it sounds wonderful, it looks wonderful, and I can't wait to eat. So let's try it. Yes, thank you. So we're here at Assembly Chef's Hall, which is a giant food hall in the middle of downtown Toronto. I love coming here because there are 17 different chefs and 17 different types of cuisine. So every time you come, you can try something different. Uh, so I'm Nick Liu from Dilo in Toronto. I mean, it's a classic kind of like new Asian cuisine style. Okay, so what we're doing here is we got a bao burger, super delicious, and you know, just kind of like a fun play on like some Asian kind of classics. Okay, cheers. It's fun, right? I absolutely love the texture of the bow. It's a perfect place to come in the winter. I can feel the heat like emanating <laughs> off of the stove. It's uh, yeah, it's a perfect place for winter. Woo! So tell us about Tachi. Tachi is a, like a, means a standing sushi. This is a, actually a chef's choice. Eat right away is the best way. So this is a bonito Japanese name, it's katsu. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best sushi I've ever had. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I like to have a bit of a different experience at night and Ripley's Aquarium is definitely different. If walking under tunnels with giant fish going above your head isn't enough, they also have really awesome late night events like the Symphony of the Sea, which I'm going to tonight. Well, Ripley's is about obviously fish. We have over 20,000 uh, animals here on site, over 450 different species. Mm -hmm. um, and tonight you're seeing them in a different way with our Symphony of the Sea event. We always tell people that it's an excuse to escape winter and come sure. visit like this tropical exhibit right behind me. It's really cool to just see everything like floating above my head. I've shown you guys all some of the best places to go out. Now here are some of the best places to stay. Toronto really has hotels to suit all budgets from high-end luxury hotels to mid-range to boutique hotels. There's something for everyone here. If you're looking to be in the heart of everything the city has to offer, my suggestion would be to look at the Sheridan Centre Toronto. No matter what time of year, you just can't beat its location. Thinking of catching a game or a show? 
Toronto Marriott City Centre Hotel is the perfect home base. It is literally attached to the Rogers Centre where the Blue Jays play baseball and where some of the biggest events happen year round. You can catch the action from your window or party with friends at one of their suites overlooking the field. There's the newly opened St. Regis, which boasts luxury and a high-end experience. One of the most unique features of the hotel is that they savor a bottle of champagne every day at 5 p.m. in their lobby. What makes me happy, and I think what makes other people happy as well, that everything is just perfect. I'm standing in front of the Art Gallery of Ontario. It's one of the largest museums in North America, so we're pretty lucky to have this on our doorstep. What a lot of people don't know is that it's actually free to the public on Wednesdays, and it's open late on Wednesdays and Fridays, so it's the perfect place to come on any evening. There's a wide collection of classical, contemporary, and Indigenous Canadian art, and I'm looking at one of the pieces, which is absolutely stunning. I love all the different materials used. It's vibrant, it's beautiful, it's empowering. We're standing in front of Bar Reina, which is one of my favorite places to come to. It's a modern bar inside of an old house, and it's the perfect place to come during the winter months because they have a beautiful back patio that's not only fully heated, but they also have live music. So what do you love about Toronto, and in particular the food scene in Toronto? That's a great question. So there's so many different flavors, there's so many ethnicities, mm -hmm. um, and there's so many young, hungry chefs who are out there, so talented, right. just looking to create something special. That's the thing that I absolutely love. You can find any different type of cuisine, from Greek to Thai food to Med Mediterranean, like you guys have here. So yeah, it's, it's really wonderful. The back patio is obviously beautiful. It's like a little oasis back here. Can you tell us a bit about the design, the vision behind the, the back patio? Uh, there's a ton of ambient lighting and green space. I mean, it is super beautiful. Uh, and as you mentioned, it's so cozy. It's really inviting. It. I guess you put up the lights here during the... The holiday the season, yeah. And then in the summertime, it's a little bit more, like the roof is open, obviously, and it's a little bit more uh, tropical vibes. This is such a hot spot for Toronto, and it has an amazing rooftop restaurant and bar here called Coast. One of the things that uh, makes us so unique is the uh, importance of design. The great thing about Mr. C towards the back of the room here, it's this coziness. It is and very the, cozy, it's nice and warm. So the vibe here is very young, uh, vibrant, cozy, uh, and very sophisticated. And do you guys have any signature cocktails that you like to offer to draw people in during the winter time? Uh, the well-known uh, vanilla infused uh, uh, old fashioned. It's Ooh, personally my favorite. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be in Toronto if you didn't pay a visit to the CN Tower. It's home to 360 restaurants and the highest wine cellar in the world. What's beautiful about this in the wintertime is you have that crystal clear view right across the city. And the restaurant actually revolves. It revolves. So when you have dinner, it's a 72-minute rotation. So you'll actually have a view of the entire city as you, uh, as you make your way around. So are there any specific wines that you recommend, especially during the wintertime? During the winter, um, I would tend to lead more towards the uh, red varietals. Red. Yeah. Um, we do a fantastic Cabernet Franc. Uh, in Niagara, so the, we've paired those with some of our steaks, so you get some, a big hearty meal with a big hearty wine as well. What better way to spend our winter's evening than staring out over the city's beautiful bright lights? From aquariums and art galleries to swanky cocktails and street food, there's really no excuse not to pop on your hat and gloves and get yourself out in Toronto for some winter warmth. With longer nights come brighter lights here in Toronto. Cheers.